In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the missing dimensions of a rectangle using some given information. We're told that the length of a rectangle is 3 more than the width, and we're also told the area is 40 square inches, and we want to know what are the dimensions. So to help us get a better idea of what's going on, let's draw this rectangle. And let's give it some measurements. We're told that the length is 3 more than the width. So the width, that's going to be our small side. Let's call it x. The length is going to be 3 more than that. We don't know what it is, so it's x. But to get 3 more than x, 3 more means we are adding 3 to the unknown value of x. And the way we calculate area is we multiply width times length. So if we multiply x, times x plus 3, that's going to equal the area of the rectangle, and we're told that the area is 40. We now have an equation we can solve to answer the question. Start by distributing to give us x squared plus 3x equals 40. And before we can solve, the equation has to equal 0. So we'll subtract 40 from both sides, giving us x squared plus 3x minus 40 equals 0. And we know we can solve this by either factoring, completing the square, or the quadratic formula. This one does factor quite nicely and quickly to x plus 8 times x minus 5. And then we can set each factor equal to 0, x plus 8 equals 0, and x minus 5 equals 0. And solve those quickly to find out x equals negative 8, or by adding 5, x is equal to 5. However, we need to remember that we are talking about the length of a rectangle. x is the width of this rectangle. It would not make sense to have a width of negative 8 inches. So we'll have to exclude that one as a possible answer, but it would make sense to have a width of 5 inches. So plugging 5 in for x, we've got a width of 5, and the other one is x plus 3, or 5 plus 3, which equals 8. We have a 5 by 8 rectangle. In this 5 by 8 rectangle, the length is 3 more than the width, 8 is 3 more than 5, and the area is 40 square inches. 5 times 8 is 40. We found that size by letting our sides be represented algebraically as x and x plus 3, and multiplying them to equal the area. Solving that equation, gave us our solution for the problem.